Adams, a sophomore from Cary, North Carolina. Maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from here. So it is second down and 10 from the 20. Play action for Skinner, one on one. He's got a man wide open. It's DJ Bolden. Goes to one knee at the 35, so they'll move the chains. He had a big week last week against Baylor, a gain of 15. We check out now Alex, who not one aspect of his game jumps out and says, I'm a great quarterback. But when you put the package together, he just gets it done. Sidesteps one pass rusher. Throws on the run. He's got his man, DJ Bolden. Cross midfield at the 48. Can beat you a number of different ways, especially with the looks that the call. Five receivers set. Here come the Rebels. They throw it quick out. Bolden comes back this way. Fights his way for a gain of about eight. His third catch of the afternoon as we send it to Matt Weiner once again in the studio. Matt, right here. Who was it? Another sneak. And I'm not talking JC. Oh, I thought you were talking golf. Norm, Norm Sneed. Right here at Wake. Back in the late 50s, early 60s. I was going to guess Sam. Bolden with the catch over the middle. That's a first down inside the 10. All right, so our answer to today's Aflac trivia question with Mike Wallace down the right sideline. Remember, they had eight defensive touchdowns a year ago that led the nation. It's a defense that creates turnovers. And Skinner now with a chance starting at his own 24. Holden over the middle, the crossing route. Scott Room has a first down. His fifth catch of the afternoon. Just feels like Steve Labotsky has abandoned the run game on first and second down, and he's comfortable to go with Riley Skinner in obvious run situations, just using that quick pass game. But he told us it's part of his plan. He, he likes to, to mix it up so no one can get a pattern from it. Just a random selection on the early down. Play action coming out to DJ Bolden again. Dragged down at the 45. Jamarcus Sanford got one hand on him and held on. Yeah, this is one of those rare plays in college football where a coaching staff has the confidence in the quarterback to check during the play from a run. He could have handed that ball off, but if he sees the bubble screen outside, they give Riley Skinner the freedom to opt against the run. The new sideline warning. That wasn't just no an assist. warning. That was a big assist. Yeah, that coach. was an assistant that went over three bills. It's a brick wall on the sideline. Third and almost nine. So Adams, tailback in there out of the gun. Skinner under pressure, lost one up. Bolden's out there. Can he make the catch? Yeah. And the flags come in too. So there's an answer to Shea Hodge and what he did earlier. The seventh catch of the afternoon for DJ Bolden. Uh, and that is the DJ Bolden that Jim Grobe has been waiting for for three years here in Winston Salem. Pass interference, number 12 of the defense. That penalty is declined. First down. First of all, Riley Skinner puts this ball where only DJ Bolden can get to it. Bolden doing a great job with his body and going up and taking the football away from Dustin Muzon, an experienced corner. Looked a lot like his older brother, Anquan Bolden. Plays down in Phoenix, Arizona. Entire weekend with a with a dinner with bowling and a lot of guys that are my friends throughout the NBA get a chance to come to my hometown. Quick out to Bolden, complete at Man. the 25. Now he's had a big afternoon, had a big day last week in the opener, as a matter of fact. But that's his eighth catch this afternoon. So the the pro am bowling, the straws that stir the drinks for these two programs. He's 20 of 26. Second and ten, that ball could have been caught a moment ago. Play action on the run out to Bolden. has got room around the edge across the 30-yard line. That's a first down Wake Forest. And the ninth catch of the game for D.J. Bolden. There's Star Bolden a lot like the Cardinals and, and going back to Florida State the way that they utilize his older brother, Anquan yeah. Bolden. Yeah. 
such a terrific runner after the catch his older brother and DJ starting to show some signs. He didn't feel good at all about the game last week that he had against Baylor even though he had seven catches he had a couple of drops for 353 yards he's the type of quarterback where you can put the game on his shoulders. Play action quick throw far sideline Bolden's had a big afternoon DJ Bolden spins away from one across midfield. He's in double digits. He's got 10 catches on the afternoon. Well, they really trust Riley Skinner to spread the ball around. They trust him to make those high degree of difficulty throws, the dangerous throws like that last ball to Bull shot. Sam Swing. It's a great plus that Lake has this year. Over the middle and wide open is Bolden. Mississippi rushed four. And a nice job by Riley 